and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because we are connecting to the sign of Cancer for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, wherever you have that Cancer placement in your chart. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's get right into it, Cancer. What do you have going on during this time? You're guided to watch this video, again, for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Really, wherever you have the Cancer placement in your chart, you can apply this to. <sighs> okay, what's going on for Cancer? What's going on for Cancer? Mm -hmm. persistent drive okay so maybe you're working on a project and you're feeling kind of you know a little tired out cancer you're starting to feel like you know what I don't even know if I want to keep going at this point I'm not seeing the results that I've been hoping for tapping into this energy it's definitely important for you to have persistent drive at this time and to just keep going cancer this is the the grind time okay this is not the time to give up on the things you've been manifesting or wanting See if I can get a couple more. That one wanted to come out. All right. Is that it? Oh, we got one more that flipped over. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we have persistent drive, take note, blend into the environment. And then we got love where you are and back on task so let's just jump right into it here is persistent drive uh, at the bottom of this one it says see what you desire and move towards that goal it is time to zero in on your purpose use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome so it's definitely important to tap into your intuition what you're being guided to do your instincts as well um, for the best possible outcome there's also an element here cancer with trusting yourself but to keep going towards your desired goal right now is the time to zero in on your purpose as well so if you don't feel like you have any goals at the moment this is the perfect time to just start chopping wood chopping wood going after them all right take note uh, your answers are being given to you. Quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you a chance to hear what is being offered. So tapping into this energy, the universe is trying to send you signs and signals either through dreams. Maybe you want to get a dream journal cancer, but the universe is definitely sending you different signs, signals, synchronicities. You're definitely getting downloads of information, um, you know, to tell you your next moves, to give you different information, to basically, you know, hand towards you the question the answers to the questions you've been asking maybe you're wondering okay i know what i want to do but how how do i actually do this universe um if you quiet your mind i feel like you make it a revelation all right so then we have blend into the environment um, you may have many skills that can fit into any situation. Take time to access what is going on around you, or I'm sorry, assess what is going around you um, and adapt accordingly. So this is about being mutable. Cancer, you are a cardinal sign, so typically you're a good balance of, you know, mutable and fixed energy. But I'm seeing that this is more of a time where you want to tap into that more mutable energy um, so you can blend into your environment. Also, if you're trying to make something happen right now, I feel like, not that it's the wrong time, but I just feel like there's something else that you need to see or know that'll make the chances a lot better for you or that'll actually cause you to achieve your goals. So it's important to you for you to blend into your environment right now so you can see something. Then we have love where you are. Use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect to your heart, um, to your head when determining what you would like. So yeah, this is about loving where you are, being comfortable where you are, and it says use your sensitivity to know when you act. So this is about not um, going off just of emotion, but what you're feeling intuitively. So I, I feel like timing is everything for you guys right now, Cancer. Okay, back on task. Uh, be sure you're using your time in the best possible manner. You may consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you're working on. All could use some fine tuning. So that's more of that energy cancer we were getting before with the persistent drive where it's important for you to kind of, all right, um, you know, realistically assess where are we right now? Are we still on track to getting to our goals? Do we just need to try a new method? 
Like, what's going on here? I feel like Cancer's a little demotivated, honestly. That's what the answer, or sorry, that's what the energy feels like. It just feels like Cancer's not feeling as confident um, as, you know, before about what they're doing right now. What do we got here? The hanged one, yep, absolutely. Three of wands in reverse, okay. Yeah. Cancer, I feel your energy, it's, it's not stuck, it's just, <laughs> it, that's the thing. Tapping into this energy, it's not stuck, but it's about surrendering to what your situation is now. Cancer, you may be doing a lot of daydreaming, and it's, you know, love where you are is not here for no reason, but here's the thing, I don't feel like you're stuck, I feel like you're just in this persistent drive process, where you're very much so in the thick of the process. We today have kind of, you know, been taught, like, things are just supposed to come to us as soon as we start working working towards them and I feel like you know because everyone has been or not everyone of course but a lot of people have been having like a lot of overnight success people don't see all that hard work that they were you know putting in before your favorite rapper became your fave okay trust they were grinding it did not happen overnight so it's like you know, of course, just as an example, Cancer, I just feel like you guys were getting a little impatient and the universe is like, relax, I'm coming through for you. Relax, relax, take a deep breath, Cancer, take a deep breath. All right, I'm take a couple more and what's at the bottom of the deck? The Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, so that's the underlying energy you really are having progress especially for those of you who are trying to manifest something to do with money career your own business right now uh even some life purpose type of energy for those of you who are who are manifesting those type of things or wanting those type of things to come through for you that is the underlying energy that you cannot see so that lets me know you're definitely in the thick of the process right now you can't exactly see these things happening but i feel like you guys are falling prey to illusions right now like i don't feel like the universe has given you a um, a no. I feel like you're just very much so in the thick of the process and you just need to surrender. With this moon right now though, in reverse, this is letting me know you guys may be falling prey to illusions and the illusion may be the thoughts in your head that say this is never going to happen. Try something else. You know, no, just spend one more day in bed. Okay, I'm a cancer myself. Big cancer energy. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, and then tomorrow comes and you're like, I'll do it next week. And then you're like, well, it's Thursday. I might as well just do it Monday. Fresh start to the week, you know, and just like... <laughs> Kind of like that procrastination energy. Um, I'm just feeling like cancer, you definitely need to pursue, keep going, keep working. Uh, three of wands in reverse. I feel like you're not open to the way that these things are going to happen. Like I see things coming towards you, but the three of wands is allowing it to come through the way that it's meant to come through, allowing things to come through the way the universe is sending it to you. But with this three of wands in reverse, you're actually closing yourself off to things manifesting to you by being in this mind state. You better work. You better work. You want a hot buddy? You know that song by Britney Spears. If you don't, it's fine. But anyways, <laughs> Ace of Swords, this just has to be worked out. It really does. Five of Cups, though, I can sense the disappointment. I feel like you guys have um, given up before the race has even started. That's honestly kind of how it feels. Because like I was saying before, we're just so used to, as a society, things literally like coming up out of the blue. Um, you know, things seemingly manifesting super quickly, technology speeding up. So we're just used to everything like now, now, now that that's kind of like screwed us over to be honest, because in situations like this, when you're waiting for things to manifest, it's like, if they don't come through right away, we're, you know, already disappointed. I see what you're wanting coming through cancer. I really do. Let's see what we got so far. We have lucky and love, happy family, <laughs> out of the blue and vampire. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Let me see if I can get a couple more. Otherwise, I may have to clarify with tarot. But happy family and lucky and love is definitely the energy coming towards you. I feel like you guys have good things coming towards you. Even if you're already in a relationship, this happy family doesn't have to be associated with someone new. Um, this happy family, lucky and love energy could be your relationship, your current relationship improving. But regardless, this is the energy that's coming into your life, Cancer. Happy family, lucky and love. It's like... 
almost like this energy a little bit where it's like you know you didn't even think the person you were trying to manifest or the type of relationship you were trying to manifest was real um you know it's it's like you've always kind of had this you know more fantastical idea of love and what it is that you wanted for yourself and you want something so amazing that I, it makes sense that you may have this five of cups disappointment energy but this is what's coming towards you it's just like you can't see it the universe is really telling you cancer continue to work on yourself continue to work on yourself because this out of the blue energy is that lucky and love happy family energy this is you're not going to see it coming and that's the thing um and you know just because you can't see it coming doesn't mean that it isn't but we have abundance of love here as well so it's like this is what you've been wanting an abundance of love it is coming out of the blue but you're very lucky to have this even from a universal standpoint you this is definitely a blessing this is abundance happy family even if it's just you your partner and your dog you your partner and your cat your pet your bird okay whatever um you still have that happy family partnership unit um, actually coming towards you stop being bossy cancer stop being bossy in terms of the way that it comes in just allow this love this new life this career uh, improvement advancement this money allow it to just flow in the way that it so naturally is so that I can pour into your life without resistance um, now this is what I am sensing here cancer I just feel like you know a simple predator and prey you chase after something it's gonna run away from you I feel like because you guys aren't chasing after a certain person anymore someone who may have disappointed you in the past um, you've kind of started to develop this out of sight out of mind personality with them maybe you block them on social media or you block their phone number so you can't see them hear for them etc I feel like that's finally starting to get to them um, but this person they feel a little vampiric uh, cancer I just feel someone really vamping on your energy trying to come back and giving you some tea some information if it's from a romantic standpoint this did come from the romance deck um you know uh, i've always loved you or i've always cared for you i i've always liked you i just want that happy family with you this is what i want like you know all of a sudden doing a, a complete 180 um i feel like it's because they can feel your energy now running away from them so natural shift in energy natural shift in power now all of a sudden they're interested again so um yeah, do with that what you will, but there's the information. So it's up to you what you want to do about it. But I do see that happening. I see a shift in power. Yeah, so we have flexibility. More of that mutable in, uh, energy. Also, if you're being called to try a different manifestation technique, if you're being called to, you know, do something, this is about definitely allowing yourself to fully submerge to that and do that. Um, you know, if you're not someone who typically likes the outdoors, I know I never used to be an outdoor kind of person, but if you feel, you know, being called to go on a walk, this is about doing it the moment you feel that as well, because there may be something important for you there, whether it's information from the universe or if that's you know where you by chance meet this you know person that kind of comes out of the blue I mean that's a very out of the blue example so yeah be flexible cancer go with your gut follow your intuition go with your um, you know feelings and the things that you're feeling are sticky beautiful all right so we have flexibility and transformation yeah you're also going through a bit of a transformation yourself cancer so definitely be patient with this process because you may not even be matching the frequency of this person coming through especially since they're offering you a happy family something so stable um, you may be um, you you may not have that stability within yourself quite yet so you want to make sure that you're able to match some you know the person's frequency that would that would be able to provide you this someone who's you know still wanting to play around someone who's uh just playing games and things like that they can't provide you that happy family energy so this is a serious energy so you have to make sure you're matching it so that um you know that person will be interested in in you as well um but we have fulfillment here this is definitely a fulfillment of wishes energy cancer this is what you've been waiting for we have courage 
I might clarify that with tarot because I don't want to interpret that one incorrectly. We have transformation. We've already kind of touched on this. I feel like you guys are going through your own personal transformation. And then flexibility we've talked about a bit as well. I'm just going to um, pull for courage. I'll keep this uh, Knight of Pentacles just so I don't forget what was at the bottom of the deck. But what is what does Cancer need uh, courage for at this time? What, what does Cancer need to be courageous about? And what area of Cancer's life do they need courage? Is it romance? Is it career? Is it life purpose? What is Cancer needing to be courageous about? <clears throat> what is causing Cancer to need to be courageous at this time? Okay. Okay, so Cancer, you need to be willing to, you need to be willing to fail. And we also have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. The Emperor is very masculine energy. The Emperor is the, um, you know, the partner to the Empress. The Empress is, you know, fertile. She's got that creative energy. The Emperor is the one who would do the executing of the ideas of the Empress. But with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like a big thing that holds you back, Cancer, is the, the potential of failure. You're going to have to get beyond that. And it does definitely feel like in terms of um, money because we do have that ace of pentacles in reverse money life purpose anything associated with like career job and stability you're definitely going to have to be courageous and also in this emperor energy this action oriented energy when if you have an idea you have to pursue that idea if you feel guided to do something you have to take that um you know intuitive nudge by the universe that idea that you had and put some action behind it that's definitely what's going to be needed action during this time Let's see what else comes out for cancer All right, so we have creative expression and listen only to love. Those are the cards we have. So creative expression. Um, God's divine creativity is expressed through your action. Spirit, source, the divine, whatever you believe in. Um, I forget what deck this is, but they do use like those God words and stuff like that. This isn't about, you know, any sort of worship, but this is about, you know, that divine creativity um, that you're being in inspired with using this to express, you know, express is action. Uh, expressed creativity is taking that idea and actually materializing it in the three 3D world. So when you feel inspired, definitely, definitely act on it, Cancer. That's going to be so important for you guys right now. Um, and especially since you're in this period of persistent drive where you really are in the thick of the work part that gets you where you want, that a lot of people don't acknowledge, especially being right there. When you get these, you know, bouts of creativity, this is about going with it. So you can, you know, take really, really, really quick steps to get you where you want to be. And then we have listen only to love. Um, don't allow fear to distract you from your divine mission. That's literally what we were just talking about a moment ago. Let me just pull some spirit animal cards for cancer so we can get some advice. Um, honestly, I feel like the vision is crystal clear. Back on task is really the best way to um, describe this energy. It's just getting back on task having, you know, the confidence that what you've been trying to manifest is certainly coming towards you and doing what you got to do. We're in the thick of it right now, okay? We're in the trenches. <laughs> Let's see if anything else wants to come out quick here. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the frog spirit. It says, clear the clutter. 
So clutter can literally make you feel more lazy. If you feel like there's too much going on around you, you may shut down. So the step you want to take, maybe this week, you'll start this week off with, you know, cleaning up your room, cleaning up your space, just so you can see clearly, okay? Just so you can think clearly. But we have the squirrel spirit and the sandpiper spirit. At the bottom of the sandpiper spirit card, it says be playful. This is about raising your vibration. You've also got a balance, you know? If you've been working, 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 maybe you just need a night out. But keep it as a night or a day off, you know? Don't um, settle into that energy where you're really not motivated. And then we have the squirrel spirit. At the bottom of that card, it says believe in yourself. And Cancer, I do see you going places. I do see you doing things, but we're in the hard part right now, okay? We are. We're in the part where you've got to grind, and it is what it is, but I see you getting exactly what it is that you're wanting, so it is so worth it, Cancer. That is your spread. DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and comment below a video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for, and I will see you in the next one.